In this video, you will learn how to simulate an automatic 5-stage cold forging process of an automotive ball stud using FDEX 2D, the intelligent metal forming simulator. This is the final result of the simulation. Let's get started with the problem type first. Since the geometries of the workpiece and the dies are axisymmetric, we will carry out a 2D axisymmetric simulation. The temperature change is neglected in the simulation, that is, this will be an isothermal finite element analysis. The information about the material is given on the left side. The dimensions of the workpiece are as shown in the figure on the left. The material of the workpiece is a steel grade and its initial temperature is equal to that of room temperature. The final configurations of each stage of the dies are as shown in the picture. The dimensions indicated in the picture denote the distances between the control points at the final stroke of individual stages. The initial workpiece is cleaned and subjected to phosphating. And during the forging process, forming oil will be used as a lubricant. Therefore a corresponding friction condition, that is, a formulation with a coefficient of Coulomb friction of 0.025 will be selected. A constant velocity condition will be used in the simulation because the material is rate independent. The upper die will move downward with a constant velocity of 1 mm per second and the lower die will remain stationary. The problem definition is complete. The result of the simulation would be a forged automotive ball stud as can be seen on the right side. So now, let's see how we can simulate this process using FDEX. Double click on FDEX icon to execute FDEX in your computer. Click on new to define a new process. In this process information window we will clearly define the process type. This is axisymmetric cold forging process. So we will make the selections accordingly. Select cold forming and 2D axisymmetric simulation. We select Newton as the unit of force. So the unit of stress will be megapascal. This will be a flow analysis which means only the mechanical effects of deformation of the workpiece will be considered in the simulation. Select rigid plastic deformation type. This means the elastic component of deformation is neglected in the simulation as it is insignificant. Since this process does not have any flash, select regular type under flash. Click OK. This is the main window of FDEX. We will use the toolbar to set up the simulation step by step. First step is to import the geometry. Click on model, from file and then select the geometry file in DXF format. Click open and then click OK. Click yes to make the overall process automatic. You can see that all the five stages of the cold forging process have been populated automatically. Note that you can get this geometry file inside your FDEX installation folder. Let's move on to the second step which is to define the material property. Click on material, from library and then select the steel grade AISI underscore 4140, T equals 20 degrees Celsius, and then click load. This will load the material into the simulation. Now click close. The third step is to define the press machine type. As you know, we will use a constant velocity press. For using that, Click on Press, Manual, Enter minus 1 in the fifth column of the table. This means, making the press move downwards, in the negative Y direction, with a constant velocity of 1 mm per second. Click OK. The fourth step is to select the friction formulation. Click on Friction, from Library and then select Oil underscore Cold, Steel, Formulation, click Load and then Close. The properties that were loaded so far will be assigned to the respective entities now. Right click on the steel grade and select to work pieces. This will assign the material grade to the work pieces in all the five stages. Now right click on V equals 0, minus 1 comma 0, and then select to upper dies. This will assign the press type to the upper dies in all the five stages. Similarly right click on oil underscore cold, steel and then select to upper and lower dies. This will assign the friction formulation to the upper and lower dies in all the five stages. Now we have completed the definition and assignment of properties to the dies and the workpiece. The next step is to position the dies properly. For this, 
we will use the positioner tool of FX. Double click on stage 1 and click on positioner icon on this toolbar. Click auto icon. This will enable automatic positioning of the dies for all the three stages. In the prompt window that opens, click no to not initialize the position for all stages. Click OK. The next step is to define the stroke values for every stage. For stage 1 stroke definition, double click on forming 1. This will open the forming control window of stage 1. Enter a value of 97.4 below the distance drop down menu and click OK. Now follow the same procedure to define the stroke values for all the remaining stages. For stage 2 stroke definition, double click on forming 2. This will open the forming control window of stage 2. Enter a value of 89.3 below the distance drop down menu and click OK. For stage 3 stroke definition, double click on forming 3. This will open the forming control window of stage 3. Enter a value of 72.0 below the distance drop down menu and click OK. For stage 4 stroke definition, double click on forming 4. This will open the forming control window of stage 4. Enter a value of 66.4 below the distance drop down menu and click OK. For stage 5 stroke definition, double click on forming 5. This will open the forming control window of stage 5. Enter a value of 80.5 below the distance drop down menu and click OK. We are almost done with the simulation setup process. We just have to save the simulation, check and run it. Click on the save icon, enter a file name and then click save. Your simulation file is now saved. The final step is to check the simulation to see if we have set it up correctly. Click on the tick mark button on the toolbar. In the window that opens, click check. This will let you know the error messages if there are any. The notice messages can be ignored at this step. After making sure that there are no error messages, click run. This area shows stage-wise and overall progress of the simulation. On the right side are the different state variables that can be visualized based on the simulation. You can explore more on this section to investigate the state variables of your interest. The media tools here allow you to visualize the deformation behavior of the process.